Welcome and thanks for tuning in to my thoughts on Scrumptious, another inspired expression brought to us by Dua Fragrances, inspired after Roja Dove's uh, Sweetie Oud. And I've got to say that Scrumptious is a much better name for this. Because if you're looking for Oud, you're not really going to find it here. And I've got to say that I haven't had my nose on Sweetie Oud yet, so I can't really compare, but I know that Dua usually does a bang up job when it comes to recreating scents. And from the reviews I've read, it seems that these two are very similar and you don't really find a lot of Oud in Sweetie Oud as well. And what you find in Sweetie Oud is a gourmand. A gourmand with an awful lot of notes to it. An awful lot of notes that really don't make sense. <laughs> An awful lot of notes that come together to really make, I don't know, something else. <laughs> so, what this scent, Scrumptious, reminds me of is kind of like Valentine's Day at a bakery shop. And the special of the day is strawberry shortcake with a dozen roses. That's the special that's going on for the day. That's the scent that's filling up that bakery. So you have this fluffy, rich, scrumptious strawberry shortcake, you know, with a little bit of sugary icing on the top, mixed with that scent of roses. That's the top of the scent. And the top of this scent leans a little bit feminine towards me, but it's not enough to throw me off. I uh, still feel comfortable wearing it. Uh, and as time goes on, it becomes more unisex. The rose dies off and some other elements come to play. That's when like the patchouli comes to life and it's more of this uh, brighter, sweeter, fruity kind of patchouli mixed with uh, some spiciness in here. Some herbal spiciness comes to life, but still the main driving force is that like strawberry shortcake kind of scent flowing through like the entire life of the scent. You have that gourmand quality, but it doesn't really dip into like full 100% gourmand. I mean, that is <laughs> the major part of this scent, but there are other nuances that uh, steer it away from being that full-fledged gourmand, like the patchouli and uh, the fresh herbal spiciness as it dries down and the roses at the top, of course. And this stuff, I must say, is... Super potent, super strong, super long lasting. Man, it's one of those that I can smell on me. Uh, very strong throughout the entire day. And others can as well. I'm filling up the store where I work and people are commenting. But people are commenting in a good way. So that's awesome. You know, when I tell them the name, Scrumptious, and they're like, yeah, I can see that. That's a good name for that scent. And you know when it comes to the scent, you know like the sweetness, uh, and I say strawberry shortcake. For, for me, like the first thing that comes to my head when I say think of strawberry shortcake is like the Care Bears. <laughs> and that can be like really juvenile, uh, but this scent does not go into a juvenile territory because of some of the adult notes that are going on, like the rose and the patchouli and the, and the herbal spiciness, that character of the scent keeps it uh, in a mature state of form. All in all with this scent though, even though I really enjoy it, I think it's one that I'm going to give to Amanda because I think I would prefer uh, enjoying this one on her, kind of like I do with some other gourmand fragrances. There are a few gourmands that... Um, I'm fond of, but for the most part, even though I enjoy them, that's how I want to enjoy them is on Amanda, you know, making her smell scrumptious. That's what I love. So if you have checked out Scrumptious or Sweetie Oud or them both, uh, make sure to share with me your thoughts down below and share with me your scent of the day as well. You guys take care and we'll see you soon.